Hi, I'm Zach Carpenter with Oklahoma State University. Today I'm going to be showing you a homebrew uh, kind of in-house solution we came up to orbital welding. We're making this water jacket. We milled out this uh, with a quarter inch bit and we've got the solid top with the two ports. And we're going to be welding those together and we want this to be a sealed unit that's going to be placed in a high vacuum tool. So first we've got to tack this and then we'll stick it in our orbital welding jacket. So here we've got the turntable, we've got a stepper motor driving it, you can see the work piece and I've got a scrap piece bolted to it here for preheating the part, and a weld on that to preheat it. If you don't do that you'll find that it's pretty hard to get a bead started quickly. We've got the um, stepper motor wire shielded to a motor controller, then to an optical isolator and then to the microprocessor. We use the microprocessor to control the indexing and the speed so we can get the nice bead profile that we're looking for. A word of caution from an electrical standpoint, if you don't have your electronics shielded, excellent. Your turntable is probably not even going to work when you strike an arc or be erratic. A high voltage, high frequency will interfere with pretty much any electronics. So as you can see here, I had to shield, completely shield the motor controller and the microprocessor. In addition to that, I have the microprocessor optically isolated from the motor controller. So even the control line had to be uh, shielded before I could get this to work correctly while it was welding. So get, get ready to spend a lot of time trying to get this tested and working before you just throw something together and think it's going to work. Now we're going to weld this vacuum flange onto this tubing. So you can see it is possible to make a professional semi-automated orbital weld, which is a standard TIG and an improvised turntable setup. 